whenever we are starving whenever we have high grade fever we start smelling acetone from the mouth any diabetic ketoacidosis guy will have acetone smell so how are these ketone bodies are formed why are they formed who forms them who uses them you need to be very very clear on this concepts very simple why diabetic ketoacidosis lead to ketone body formation basically diabetes mellitus may insulin is not there or insulin is not working if the uh, insulin is not working glucose can't be taken up by the cells unless cells take up glucose they can't metabolize and they can't produce energy so all cells will be feeling hungry mom we are very hungry feed us because this uh, dad called insulin is missing we all became orphans and uh, glucose food is not coming inside what to do a ant like mom is stronger than a elephant like father so liver is the mother liver is a mom the liver will say do minute abhi main paka ke dilata hu so immediately what will it will do it will take a little lipid beta oxidation acetyl coa formation acetyl coa don't need insulin to be taken up by the cells right so it will send them but after preparing acetyl coa by beta oxidation can the mom send it directly like that it has to put it in a tiffin carrier and send to the kids who are hungry in the school so that tiffin carrier in which the acetyl coa molecules are packed are called as ketone bodies after the carrier arrives cells will take it up no need of insulin they reconvert that into acetyl coa put it into citric acid cycle every time acetyl coa is put into citric acid cycle how many atp is come 10 atp the kids hunger is taken care now this story we are going to have in a more biochemical way <clears throat> the ketone bodies are basically produced in the liver and they are basically produced uh girija is saying that there is no audio is audio not clear for others or uh, only for girija please check please punch whether the audio is clear for others yeah it is clear that's right it is girija's local system just call girija and uh, ask her to get uh, updated on that okay ketone bodies are produced in the mitochondria in the liver whenever we are fasting whenever we are starving or even whenever we are on a very high fat diet where too many acetyl coa are produced also they are packed in the form of ketone bodies from where will this acetyl coa come from basically for the production of the ketone bodies the beta oxidation of the fatty acids it produces a lot of nadh and atp and uh, whenever the high nadh high atp is there what happens to citric acid cycle we studied earlier a high nadh or high atp will stop the citric acid cycle but a low atp that means high amp or a high nad plus not nadh stimulates the citric acid cycle why is it important because acetyl coa has two fates either it can enter into citric acid cycle or it can enter to form ketone bodies if it is converted into ketone bodies what is the purpose of it it need to be sent to the other tissues energy by breakdown of the fatty acids leading to acetyl coa should not be reused by the liver itself it need to be sent into uh the uh, other tissues after converting that acetyl coa into uh ketone bodies but how will citric acid cycle will know that 
it is the time for ketone body formation whenever the liver is breaking down the fatty acids it is producing high atps high nadh that itself will inhibit the citric acid cycle and spare the acetyl coa from being used point number 1 number 2 whenever you are in starvation whenever you are in uh, uh, having the insulin deficiency what will happen to the glycolytic intermediate uh, what will happen to the oxaloacetate oxaloacetate is there no oxaloacetate will be driven to enter into gluconeogenesis why whenever we are starving we have high glucagon high glucagon will be driving the oxaloacetate to convert into pyruvate and then enter into gluconeogenesis what are the other option available for the oxaloacetate in the citric acid cycle it can combine with acetyl coa form citrate and then make drag the acetyl coa into citric acid cycle but is oxaloacetate is available for doing that job no oxaloacetate is already being taken away by the gluconeogenic pathway so it is not available for binding with acetyl coa so that acetyl coa is no more ready for entering into citric acid cycle so there are two reasons why acetyl coa which is produced with the beta oxidation of the fatty acids in the liver cannot enter whenever we are having starvation when it is a time for formation of ketone bodies why it cannot enter into citric acid cycle reason number 1 the high atps high nadh which are produced when beta oxidation was happening is against using the acetyl coa for citric acid cycle because citric acid cycle stops second oxaloacetate during starvation because of the glucagon will be driven towards gluconeogenesis it is not available for combining with acetyl coa to enter into citric acid cycle so acetyl coa cannot enter into citric acid cycle which is a good news for us because it can enter into ketone body formation so the acetyl coa sitting here is waiting to enter to form ketone bodies but there is always a temptation to enter into citric acid cycle to enter it require a mate oxaloacetate but whenever we are starving oxaloacetate is driven towards gluconeogenesis so it won't participate in citric acid cycle so acetyl coa will since oxaloacetate is not available a, for a combined reading it won't uh, it leaves the reading room and goes to movie ketone body formation will occur now how will ketone bodies will progress peak hai acetyl coa is available for ketone body formation what is the next step two molecules of acetyl coa condense to form acetoacetyl coa who is the enzyme involved hyolase is the enzyme involved then one acetoacetyl coa combines with another acetyl coa to form hmg coa you remember cholesterol biosynthesis also it is the same initial step there also acetyl coa is the beginner so hmg coa synthase is available then hmg coa is in turn cleaved back and acetyl coa and acetoacetate will form it's called hmg coa lyase two acetyl coa combined to form acetoacetate coa that is being converted to hmg coa from that the acetoacetate is forming by releasing acetyl coa then what will happen to this acetoacetate it become reduced into beta hydroxy butyrate during this process the energy is packed by the mom liver it took little nadh took their energy and gave that energy to acetoacetate so that acetoacetate became beta hydroxy butyrate okay so uh you have seen that movie no nanny mcafee you have not seen so uh, liver is like nanny mcafee it will say like this immediately energy will be transferred eh? sometimes you should see movies also only preparation 
for entrance is not enough. So, acetoacetate is reduced back to beta hydroxybutyrate and what is this enzyme basically called as NAD requiring dehydrogenase it is beta hydroxybutyrate dehydrogenase is the enzyme which is involved and it is a reversible reaction basically. Any moment beta hydroxybutyrate want it can become H2 acetate, H2 acetate can become beta hydroxybutyrate. That's what need to be remembered. Then next step is what? That is one option available for H2 acetate. Then H2 acetate can become spontaneously decarboxylated and convert into acetone. And this acetone is responsible for that uh, ketone breath that we have whenever we are having ketoacidosis. Now comes an important question. Idli, vada, sambar, everything mother prepared. She herself may feel hungry to eat them instead of sending to the children. The liver itself may get an idea to use the ketones back. The only tissue in the body who can produce ketone bodies is liver. The only tissue in the body which cannot use ketones is liver. He is fortunate to basically remember. Why it cannot use it? Why it cannot use? To reconvert these ketone bodies back into acetyl CoA, you need one enzyme. God did not give that enzyme to liver. So, what is that enzyme? There is something called succinyl CoA acetoacetate CoA transferase. It is also called thiotransferase. Only if it is available, then the acetoacetate can be reconverted into acetoacetyl CoA, which can be converted into acetyl CoA. This enzyme, acetoacetate, succinyl CoA transferase, is there? No, it is missing in the liver. One of the favorite MCQs of the examiner. Which enzyme for the utilization of the ketone bodies is missing in the liver so that it can't use the ketone bodies? It can only produce the ketone bodies. It is the acetoacetate succinyl CoA transferase, is what you have to remember reflexly. So, these ketone bodies are released into the blood by the liver. Ultimately, they are reaching the peripheral tissues, the muscle and kidney, which are waiting to receive it. There, they become oxidized and used for energy. And for their uptake, there is no need of insulin. Even if insulin is not there, they can be taken up. Suppose if they are starving long period of time, then these ketone bodies can become so excessive in their production by the liver that it can lead to development of ketosis because it is beyond the ability of the peripheral tissues to oxidize them. There is also limitation for reusing them by the peripheral tissues. Then we suffer what is called as um, ketoacidosis is what need to be remembered. Now, doctor, um, we have this 3 hydroxybutyrate dehydrogenase no? which converted h 2 state into beta hydroxybutyrate the same enzyme can convert beta hydroxybutyrate back into h 2 state and when h 2 state became beta hydroxybutyrate NADH is converted to NAD when the reverse occur NAD converts into NADH why this is important? Suppose if the mom liver has sent little curds and rice, uh, it is acetoacetate. If mom has sent two, three delicious curries, etc., etc., then that is beta hydroxybutyrate. If the predominant ketone body produced by the liver happens to be beta hydroxybutyrate, then peripheral tissues get more energy. If acetoacetate is sent, still it will help the kids because acetoacetate also, after being broken down, releases acetyl CoA and that is used for energy. But NADH, so that is the difference between the two. Acetoacetate compared to beta hydroxybutyrate, beta hydroxybutyrate produces three ATPs more is what we need to remember. So, summarize doctor, beta hydroxybutyrate by the action of the dehydrogenase will produce one NADH and convert to H2 acetate. Acetoacetate 
in turn will convert into acetoacetyl CoA. After receiving the CoA from the succinyl CoA, the succinyl CoA becomes succinate. And what is the enzyme required? Beta ketoacyl CoA transferase. Is there any reaction even in citric acid cycle which is similar to this where succinyl CoA becomes succinate? And what is the importance of that step? Substrate level phosphorylation occurs, GTP forms. But in this case, GTP does not form. In the case of uh, the, the ketone body oxidation. So, acetyl CoA in turn will lead to the formation of 2 acetyl CoA um, and the enzyme involved is called as thiolase. Everything is there in the liver but not beta ketoacyl CoA transferase is not there so that the liver cannot use them, use the ketone bodies. So, acetoacetate is activated by reacting with succinyl CoA to form acetoacetyl CoA which ultimately lead to formation of acetyl CoA that is the end of the story of ketone bodies. Now comes after the bank robbery in biochemistry, how much is the loot? Did we get uh, 1000 rupee notes or only 1 rupee notes in the bank loot? So, how many ATPs are produced when there is an oxidation of ketone bodies? One acetyl state is leading to two acetyl CoA and obviously we are expecting each acetyl CoA giving rise to 10 ATPs and hence 20 ATP should form. But in case of acetoacetate getting activated at the time of oxidation, it should first become acetoacetyl CoA by receiving from succinyl CoA, the CoA part, right. So, from where will succinyl CoA come from? It should come from, instead of going to citric acid cycle, it should come here and donate, succinate. If it were to go to citric acid cycle, it would have generated 1 ATP. But since it came here, that ATP is not generated. When ester state became ester style CoA. Hence, it is equivalent to 1 ATP being lost. Right? ATP not produced equal to ATP lost. And hence, the total ATP yield is treated to be only 19 ATP. Because the succinyl CoA to succinate when it converts during the oxidation of the um, ketone bodies, since ATP is not produced, 1 ATP is not produced, you need to subtract that from 20 ATPs ultimately which are produced and hence the yield is called as 19 ATPs only. Then doctor, if beta hydroxybutyrate were to be the starting point, then 2.5 ATPs more are produced rather than uh, the starting point being s 2 state. That is what you need to basically appreciate. That is all the story doctor about the ketone bodies.